Hi, I'm Jack Buffington for RobotBrigade.com. This is another video in my series of videos about digital logic. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get all of your variables in every term of a logic expression. Let's say that you have an expression such as A or B bar C. And I want to have A, B, and C represented in every term of my expression. This can be handy sometimes when you're working with uh, multiplexers to implement uh, any logic function or with a decoder to do the same sort of thing. All right, let's take a look at this. Uh, if you might recall from my logic simplification video, A or A bar equals 1. And although it isn't exactly multiplying, uh, if, you, if you multiply by uh, a variable and its reciprocal, or its inverse, then you really haven't changed anything. So I'm going to take this first term, A, and I'm going to uh, multiply by B or B bar, and I get A, B, or A, B bar. And to get C into those, I'm going to do the same thing. And let's bring down this uh, B bar C. So now I get A, B, C, or A, B. C bar or A, B bar, C or A, B bar, C bar or B bar, C. Now all these have three variables and we're just going to finish up with, actually let's put it in this step, A or A bar. So I get I like to put my variables in alphabetical order, and you'll see why in just a second. Now, somewhere here, which I calculated out before, these two are the same. And if you put them in alphabetical order, it helps you find those. So the end result here is you don't need two of them. So I'll just get rid of one of them. And so now this is an expression that every term has all three variables and is equivalent to this. This is, uh, like I said, handy when you are doing certain things, generally not optimized um, with digital logic. So if you found this video helpful and you'd like to see more videos about digital logic, visit my YouTube channel. I'm Jack Buffington for RobotBrigade.com.